Hey there, today I'm going to show you how to draw Mabel Pines from Gravity Falls. So we're going to start at the top of her face with her eyes. Starting with the one on the left, we'll start at the top and draw a circle. So starting at the very top, we'll draw a nice big circle. Back up to the top. Now from here we're going to draw in the nose because the nose slightly overlaps the eye on the right. So starting up in the middle here, we draw a sort of like a backward C. Just like that. Starting back at the top of the nose, we're going to circle around and draw the right side eye, the exact same size as the one on the left. Now from here, let's draw on the pupils. So right, right of center, on the left side, we're going to go over and draw a circle and color that in black. Now we just want to mirror this on the right side, so starting in the inside, we're just going to draw another circle and color that in black. From here, we're going to draw in the mouth and give her a big grin so she can show off her braces. So from the center of this eye, we're going to curve up towards the right, and then we're going to round out the sides of our mouth, like this, and then we're going to come back around to the bottom of the mouth here. So circling around, go back up on the right side, and just close that off. From here, let's draw the braces. So in the center here, I just want to draw a square, like this. We're going to draw two more on either side. So this one, I'm just going to angle it slightly, so it's tilted this way. The one on the right will tilt the other opposite way, just like that. Now from here we can um, block in her face. So the face area right around here is just like an oval. So starting on the left side of this eye, we're going to round out around the mouth and make our way towards the right side. So we're just going to start on the right, curve around and just close off the bottom part of the face. From here let's go ahead and draw in the part in the head. So on the left side it curves up towards the part which is right about here. Starting up here, I'm going to put a point, a curve down and towards the left, right into that eye. And on the right, we're just going to curve in the opposite direction in towards the top of that eye. Here, let's draw some eyelashes. So just the side of the eye here on the left, it's going to curve two little curls. On the right, we'll do the same thing. Here, let's draw some eyebrows. So just above the left eye, we'll just draw a little curve like this. On top of the right, we'll do one there. And it's okay if it overlaps on top of that hair part. From here, I'm going to draw on some ears. So two big ovals on each side of the head, slightly smaller than the eyes. So right about here, about nose level, we curl around like this. And on the right, I will do the same thing, just curling around like that. Now the top of the head, it's almost squarish. They come, the lines come up, round out at the top, and just kind of curve off at the top here. So I'm just going to draw the curve first just above the hair part, just like that. From here, I'm going to round out, and just pull this right into the top of the ear on the left, and then on the right side, I'll do the same thing. So just rounding out and pulling it in behind the ear on the right. From here, let's draw that little hair tuft. It's just on that corner here. I'm going to do a little curve like this, and then a slightly smaller one, and just tuck that in behind the hair. From here, let's get into the body. Let's start with the neck. So in the center here, I'm going to draw two short straight lines coming down. This is the neck that goes into a turtleneck. So I'm just going to overlap a curve from left to right. From here, we're going to round out the collar, so the, the turtleneck. So up here, I'm just going to curl around and go to the right side and just curl back behind the head there. Let's show a little bit of the, uh, the fibers in the turtleneck. So curving here. Do it twice, and then on the left side, we'll just kind of balance it out on the right like that. From here, let's get into the body. So she sort of has a pear-shaped body. Starts off thin around the armpits, and then just sort of bulls out around the waist. So right about here, I'm going to start up here, leaving a gap between the turtleneck, and curl out like this. On the right side, we'll do the same thing. So bowing out, and just coming back in. We'll connect that with a curve. Goes all the way around. Let's draw in that little detail in a sweater and draw a little star here. So just a rounded star, starting on the left, go up and then down. We'll start back at the starting point, go out and back in, and on the right side, at the bottom, we'll just come up and just kind of close that off on the right side. And then from here, in this little point here, we're going to curve up and to the side of our body there. From here, we'll curve down. Now I just want to make three little strips here, so we can color those in different colors. So I'm just going to split that off, just like that. So here, let's get into the skirt. So just inside, on the other side, we're just going to draw two lines coming down. 
and then we're going to round out the bottom and connect those two lines there. From here, let's get into the arms. So the arms, I'm just going to bag out the arm sleeves. So right underneath this turtleneck, I'm going to curve down and out and just pull it back in right about waist level. From here, I'm going to do an overlap and just draw a curve that goes right in behind the skirt like that. From here, I'm going to show just the fingertips. On the left side here, I'm just going to draw a little curve like this. And we'll tuck one more finger in behind like so. Let's draw in the little thumb. It's a little indication of a thumb there. Let's take that and draw the exact same thing on the right side. So up here, go down, curve out, and then back in towards the skirt. Do an overlap and curve that right behind the skirt like that. Let's draw in some fingers. So I'll show one finger a little curve like that. Do an overlap and tuck that in underneath the cuff. Right here, I'm just going to draw a little indication of the thumb. Let's get into the hair. So the hair comes down and just curls around in behind the arms. So with one quick, sort of simple line, I'm going to imagine this curve coming down behind the ear. I'm going to curve out and come in. From here, I'm going to do a little loop. So I'm doing a loop and then back in behind the arm like that. Let's do the same thing, but flipped over on the right side. So starting here, I'm going to imagine this line behind the ear, starting right here, curving out, and then back in. From here, I'm going to do a little loop and then pull that in behind the arm. Let's get into the legs, the final part. So here I'm going to have two legs coming down towards the heel. So in the middle, I'll leave a little gap. I'm going to draw a curve coming in. So bowing out to the left, towards the heel, and bowing out towards the right. From here we're going to draw on the feet. So from this point in the heel, I'm going to curve the front of the foot and just come back, leaving a little gap there. From here I'm going to go back up and I'm follow that same curve. And just draw the curve for the front of the leg. From here, let's draw on the sock. So up here, I'll just draw a little curve like this. And for the shoe, starting at the top of the foot, I'm just gonna curve around and just come back in towards the heel. We'll color that all in black. Let's take that leg and draw the exact same thing on the right side. So from here, I just wanna curve around the front of the foot and coming back towards the heel. We'll draw in the front of the leg and then we'll draw in the sock, so the top of the sock here. Let's draw in the shoe. So you see here, I've actually drawn the foot a little bit smaller than the left, but I can fix that. So from here, I'm gonna curve around and just curve up to the toe. I'm gonna go back around, because I'm coloring this all in black, I could just kind of make it a little bit thicker and then color that in black. Like so, and that's the beauty of working with a Sharpie is that you can fix your mistakes quite easily. And there we have it. There's Mabel Pines from Gravity Falls. I hope you enjoyed this lesson. Please give us a like and share this with your friends. Thanks for watching and we'll see you again soon.